Lorraine Walker has owned her own dance school since she was 17 years old. She's now teaching the children and grandchildren of dancers she taught 41 years ago. In 2013, Lorraine lost the majority of her vision and was in need of a cornea transplant. This created many challenges for her, but with the support of family, friends, and her dancers, she overcame the obstacle. Dance has been her passion since she was three years old, and she has been gracious enough to share it with generations since. It just seemed to be something I always needed to do. It had to be a part of who I am, I think. As you age and you have experiences, it gives you more to work with. But when I had my eye problem, I discovered that I could no longer teach the same way I used to teach because I couldn't necessarily demonstrate my balance wasn't the same, vision wasn't the same. And so I had to find another way of expressing myself. I find that's evolving all the time. And it's evolving because of the wonderful young people that I teach. You know, I, I could certainly not be where I am without them, but my, my students on a day-to-day -day basis are my greatest teachers. With my, my eyes, that definitely had me concerned at some point that, you know, if I couldn't see, how could I teach? And that was hard because, like I say, teaching has been part of me for so long. I don't know what it would be like to be without it. I had some rough spots because, you know, I come into class and if I wasn't close enough to people, I could recognize them from their body, but I couldn't always tell who it was unless I saw them move a little bit. I couldn't, I couldn't see faces, but it taught me to teach differently. It taught me to look a little harder, to maybe it made me a better listener. I guess I could say in some ways I am thankful for the difficulties because they've enriched me in a different way. I don't know what will happen in 10 years. I don't know what will happen in 15 years from now. You know, I, I, I guess none of us know. But I think that the school has always been the spirit of everyone that's passed through the doors. So whether I'm teaching or whether uh, someone else is teaching, hopefully that spirit is always there. You know, that, I think, makes our school.